So tell me what the fuck happened with Tracy Morgan. Okay. I'll preface this. I want to be safe and preface this that my buddy Jay Moore does tell this on stage. We have an agreement. He's my friend. He's not a thief. Okay. That's, I just want, I know that Jay is concerned about that, but he told me he's not telling the story anymore. And it did happen to me. So I don't give a, I mean, this okay. is a true story. So this is a true story. It's a true story. So I was a young comic working in, uh, at the Boston Comedy Club, working the door in New York. In New York. In the village. To, yeah. And I used to party with all the black comics because they, well, because I don't, because well, you like to. Yeah. And so we uh, we ha- used to have a good time. And so then um, one night, Tracy Morgan comes in. This is when he's starting to get back into stand-up after SNL. So like when you were a young comic and a new celebrity came in, you like had to see that shit. Had to. So I go in, and I watch Tracy's set, and it is not. We have nothing in common. He's doing obs- observational material, and his observational material is like, all right, yeah, okay, okay. Who remembers finger fucking by the handball courts? <laughs> and, and I'm just like, and he thinks that's a shared experience, like losing a sock in the dryer. Right. But like everyone else, and then he walks you through, and he's like, you put that bitch up against the wall and just pussy pop that bitch. You wouldn't even kiss her. Put your arm in your own stank. And now you have a visualization of like Precious getting boxed out at a handball court, making eye contact with passerby, just getting her pussy blown out by Tracy Morgan. Oh, so, God. So, but then he, he comes off stage, and he's like, fucking, yeah. I'm a, I hit that man. I got this new bit about my dick being so pretty out. You can suck it with the lights on, <laughs> like, which is a genius statement because I've never had a blowjob in the light. But he just didn't word it right, right? Uh, uh, so uh, my dick is so pretty. You can suck it with the lights on. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, so, uh, so he, um, so he goes. He, uh, so then he goes, "Hey, you want to get high?" And I was like, "Yeah," and because I'm a grown up. And so <laughs> we walk around the corner, and he pulls out this wreck of a joint, hands it to me, hits it, gives it to me. I hit it, and it tastes like shit. It tastes like sweat socks, like just, <laughs> just like. And I'm like, "What the fuck is this?" And he's like, "Oh, you never smoked Sherm before?" And I was like, "What?" He's like, "Sherm, baby, Angel does PCP. You never smoked Sherm before?" And I'm like, "You just gave me fucking PCP, <laughs> like." How did you know? Oh. Who ever taught you how to get high? Like, oh my God. so I panic bad, like hardcore anxiety attack. I go back to the club. I go to this older black comic who was and still is one of my good friends. And I go, hey, man, Tracy just gave me PCP. He's like, oh, oh, let me tell you something, shorty. Uh, Tracy doesn't smoke PCP. He's not. He's fucking with you. I was like, what? He's like, he's, gonna, he's just smoking pot. He's fucking with you, though. He's just getting in your head. And I was like, no, I smoke BCB. I'm feeling weird. And he goes, whatever you do, shorty, don't go to your house. You hang out with us tonight. So I'm like, all right. So I do my set. I bomb. We all go out. And Tracy <laughs> is in downtown Soho, like that, right on Houston, right? And he's in a club that is like one of those railroad clubs where it goes all the way back. You have to like walk down five Flight, a flight of five stairs to get to and he's in the back he's been there like 20 minutes and he is holding court with his shirt off okay shirt off bottles of champagne covering his table there's other tables that have champagne on it he's buying it for them i buy her a bottle of champagne right now i got a pretty dick like just <laughs> eddie murphy gave me this whatever the fuck he's saying is like loud and boisterous so i sit at the table and I think I'm on PCP, and I start ordering Heineken separately from this wreck of a bar tab he has. And so I'm getting Heineken's, and then the whole night goes through. It's kind of an interesting, bizarre experience. But like two o'clock in the morning, and uh, Tracy and the waitress comes up. And she's got the bill, and she puts it in front of me because I'm at a table with all black dudes. <laughs> so she thinks I'm their agent or lawyer or coach, whatever I am. So she gives me the bill, and I see it. And I'm like, oh, I can't. And Tracy Morgan flips out, and he goes. Oh, what the fuck is that? That's fucking racism. You give it to him? He works the goddamn doll. He doesn't do I ain't gonna make any money. I'm the rich motherfucker in here. I'm on TV. I'm the rich motherfucker. And he flips the bottle of champagne table upside down. Now the woman's like, um, sir, sir. And he goes, hey. And he takes his shirt and throws it in her face. A bouncer comes up and he's like, excuse me, sir. And Tracy just wham, lays the guy. And the biggest fight I've ever been in just breaks out all over. People are fighting, jumping on. And I think I'm on PCP. So I walk out to, on Houston and I start going, this isn't happening. This is imaginary. This is not real. People are flooding out left and right. And they're like, dude, that shit's going off. Tracy's got like four dudes on him. And I was like, holy shit. A minute later, the doors kick open and Tracy Morgan is launched 
out of the club by the back of his neck and the seat of his pants, just <laughs> up onto the street. They put his shirt on him? No, up on the street, shirtless, laying at my feet on the sidewalk. Doors close. Second later, doors kick back open, and Tracy's shirt comes out end over end and lands on his head, and it's silent. And we're looking at Tracy like, fuck, this is crazy. All of a sudden, he looks up, stands up, takes his shirt, snaps it, and he goes, now that's how you get out of paying a check. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's crazy like a fox. He's the cra- He fucking just walked out of a six thousand dollar bar. Top Holy just by shit! Getting kicked out of the bar. But he yeah. really did that. That's, that's all. That's awesome. I mean, did he ever have to pay for it? Whatever. No, I have no idea. I, mean, I, I never. I, here's the thing. I only was met, it. I only met Tracy once. That was. <laughs> <laughs> You don't hang out with a dude more than that. Oh, 